6 Amazing Facts About the Immortal Cells of Henrietta Lack Number 6. HeLa cells were instrumental in early cancer research. Thanks to studies done with HeLa cells, researchers have learned a lot about the operation of cancer cells. It was discovered that Henrietta's cancerous cells activated an enzyme called telomerase that the cells used to repair damaged DNA. This meant that HeLa cells proliferated and thrived as opposed to regular cells that simply died after a short time. Number 5. HeLa cells aided the progression of genetic research. In 1953, a Texas geneticist was working with HeLa cells when a chemical accidentally spilled on them. However, this potential disaster turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Upon observation, the scientist noticed that the chromosomes within the cells increased in size and essentially untangled themselves, making them more visible. Number 4. Research using HeLa cells led to the creation of the cervical cancer vaccination. In 2008, German virologist Harold Zurhausen was awarded the Nobel Prize for his milestone discovery that two strains of HPV were directly linked to cervical cancer. In the 1970s, it was believed that herpes simplex caused cervical cancer. Number 3. He lost cells had contaminated other cell cultures worldwide. In 1966, geneticist Stanley Gardler was working with sample tissues when he noticed something odd. All of the cells contained an enzyme called glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase A, G6PDA. Number 2. The involvement of he lost cells helped to create the polio vaccine. Jonas Salk was a researcher at the University of Pittsburgh whose years of tireless work led to the end of the polio epidemic that swept through the U.S. in the 1950s. Before Salk's polio vaccine could be completed, however, he needed massive quantities of tissue samples for his work. Number 1. Some scientists suggest that he lost cells may be a new species. According to revolutionary biologist Lee Van Vallen of the University of Chicago, the law cells have no connection to people. Van Vallen and other scientists claim that the cells are microbial in nature, bear no resemblance to human cells, and should be considered as an entirely new species.